all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your pants I'm so excited to put out this video because I have a tutorial on how to cut and sew your bra and a lot of you actually requested that I put up a video on how to cut and sew your pants. So if you haven't watched my video on how to cut and sew your bra, I'm going to go ahead and link that the video in the description box below. You can go ahead and watch that. I'm also putting on this um, bonnet which is actually cute and I have a tutorial where we made this bonnet which I'm also going to link in the description box below if you're interested in learning how to cut and sew your reversible bonnet now in order for you to achieve your pants basically you can use different types of fabric you can use your African prints you can use stretchy fabric such as lacra such as crepe and scuba and you can also use like a soft fabric right and you can use fabric such as net also it just depends on how or the type of pants you want to achieve don't forget to join us on Facebook TD designs on Instagram TG designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below and in the course of this tutorial if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or you have any topic you want us to make a video on go ahead and put that in the comment section so in order for you to achieve your pants what are the basic measurements required now you will notice that from your regular pants it basically deals with size okay so if you're on a medium size you all the measurements on a medium size are going to use the same measurements and if you're on a small size all the sizes on that small are going to use the same pants if you're on a large size all the sizes on that large are going to use the same pants and if you are confused on what size you fall into I have a detailed tutorial where I explain different sizes and a detailed size chart so I'm going to go ahead now and link it in the description box so you can go ahead and watch how to get your size and also to discover your size okay so I assume that at this point now after watching this video you know your size and you've watched how to get your size now we want to achieve our pants in order for you to do this so my length now i'm going to make use of nine inches by five for my length which is actually your medium size and also your small size okay so this is the measurement i'm going to be using which is nine i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so now let's move to the cutting part of this hi guys so now we are going to cut out the front block of our pants and in order for us to do that i am making use of my african prints i will go ahead and fold my fabric into two so once i fold my fabric into two this is basically what we are going to have so we are going to go ahead now and mark our length so the length of my pants is nine inches the length of my pants is 9 inches however if you are making pants for a big size or a plus size you will go ahead and increase this 9 inches to 10 inches or 11 inches right so it basically depends on your size but if you are if you are on the medium size you can make it of 9 inches if you are on a small size you make it of 8 inches right so you just basically like play around it if you are on a plus size you can increase it to 10 inches for the length or 11 inches and if you're on a small size you can reduce this to eight inches so for me now I have nine inches for the length of my pants now for the wideness of my pants I'm going to make use of five inches for the wideness now again for the wideness also it also depends on how fat or how slim you are so if you're on a plus size you have to increase this five inches to six or seven inches so that it can cover up like your front part okay and 
5 inches is basic basic for a small size or a medium size 5 inches is fine but a plus size you have to increase it to 6 inches or 7 inches okay so this is basically what we are going to have so i'll just go ahead now and connect my 5 inches all the way down so i'll connect my 5 inches all the way down and then we have a block this way so i'll go ahead now and cut this out after cutting this out this is basically what we have after cutting this out, this is basically what we have. So you can see what it looks like. So the next thing we are going to do now is that we are going to come to this lower part of our pants and then we mark 1.5 inches. So you mark 1.5 inches at this lower part of your pants. You mark 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches at this lower part. Now at this edge, right, at this edge you mark 1 inches from the edge of your pants you mark one inches from the edge of your pants you go ahead and mark it this way so you go ahead and you mark it this way so we have one inches from the edge of our pants and from this center front of our pants we've gone ahead to mark 1.5 inches so the next thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and connect this one inch to where you have your 1.5 inches and in order for you to connect this you are basically just going to do it like um this so you are going to have like this shape the shape of your pants or your pants right this is what you are going to have so you just have like this round shape so just go ahead and connect this to give you this shape so you can see what it looks like. Going ahead now to mark 1.5 at this point and then we marked 1 inch. So you just go ahead now and connect it this way. Right? You are connecting it like a is it round shape. Just go ahead and connect this this way and then you go ahead and cut this out. So by the time you cut it out, this is what we are going to have. And let's go ahead now and open this up. You can see that you already have like the shape of your panties coming out already. You can see that with this now you have the shape of your panty coming out this way. You can see what it looks like. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric again. So. The next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric again into two and place your front block on it. Place your front block on it this way. Place your front block on it. So fold your fabric into two. Go ahead and place your front block on it and then you cut this out. So this basically means that you are supposed to have two pieces for your front block okay so there is no point um, I have a tutorial on how to cut and sew your bra if you haven't watched that tutorial please do so and I'm going to link it in the description box below you can go ahead and watch how to cut and sew your bra so we are basically going to have two pieces for your pants this way you're going to have two pieces so you can see what your panties looks like. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. And this is for the front. So we are done cutting out the front block now. And then we want to cut out the back block of our pants. So the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric into two. After folding your fabric into two, you place your front block on it. So you place your front block on it and then you get the shape of the back block. So you've placed your front block now on it and then we want to get the shape of the back block. So this is where we are starting from. We are starting exactly at the same point now and we are basically just going to bring it out this way. You are bringing it out like a V shape, okay? So the back block is more or less like a V shape compared to the front block where you have this curve. So the back block, you are just connecting it like a V shape, basically. 
so go ahead now and connect it to this point and then at the lower part now it's going to be at the same length with the front block you are going to have it back at the same length with the front block so this is what it looks like place your front block on your back block folded into two and then you go ahead now and connect it this way just to have like a v shape so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out now this pants that we are making we are making use of the um, african print bikini pants if you want me to put up a tutorial on how to make your ready-made pants like when i mean ready-made pants i mean pants that you are making use of fabrics that are stretching go ahead and comment put your comments in the comment section if you want to see such video right and i'm going to do just that so for the back block now this is basically what it looks like we just have a v-shape this way because you know the back block is more fuller compared to your front block so the next thing we are going to do now is fold our fabric again into two fold your fabric into two now we are going to place our back block on this we are going to place our back block on this and then just place it make sure it's equal and it stays well and then we'll go ahead and cut this out so basically cutting it out this is what you have so by the time you open it up you are going to have so by the time you open it up you are going to have two pieces for the back block this is the back block now for the front block also you are going to have two pieces for the front block you are going to have two pieces also for the front block so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and so the next thing we are going to do now is this this is the two pieces of your back block and then this is the two pieces of the front block at this lower part so this is the back block and this is the front block so you go ahead now and place your place it this way this is the front block this is the back block this is one piece of the back block and this is one piece of the front block so you place it this way you can see what it looks like go ahead now and stitch this part together so you are basically attaching one piece of your front block to one piece of your back block at this lower side right you are basically attaching it at this lower side so now we'll go ahead now and stitch this part and also for this other piece also you will also go ahead and stitch this part right so once i'm done stitching this part i will show you guys what it looks like but if you've learned enough from this tutorial a lot from this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe now to couple this up you can see that we basically went ahead to stitch one piece of the back block to the front block one piece of the back block to the front block and then this is what it looks like so go ahead and just give you a press so that it can lay well so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and turn your fabric this way place the front side on each other okay place the front side of each other make sure that the front block make sure that the front block is what you have on the front block is also what you have at this part so at this part now we have the two sides of the front block at this part now we have the two sides of the back block i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so basically just place one piece on each other front side facing front side back side on the back side front side on the front side so place it together this way and the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this all the way so you are basically stitching this all the way round you stitch it to this part stitch this part also and then you stitch it but you are going to leave about one inch at this part so that you'll be able to turn it out with the one inch so you stitch starting from the waist side you go ahead and stitch it you stitch the sides the lower side of your back block the sides and just leave about one inch to one and a half inch so that you can turn it out from that point so i'll go ahead now and stitch it and show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to stitch it and this is what it looks like so 
um, I left one inch at this part, so we'll just go ahead now and flip this to the other side. So you're just basically using your one inch to turn it. And if you haven't watched my video on how to cut and sew your bra, I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description box below because if you watch the bra tutorial and then you are watching this pants tutorial, your on this is complete, okay? So you have like your complete bikini dress that you can wear to the beach. Okay, so let's go ahead now and flip this. Flip this out. Make sure you bring out all the edges. And then you go ahead and iron this. So I'll go ahead now and do that. And show you guys what it looks like. So you can see that the shape of our pants is actually coming up. So once you are done, this is where I have my one inch opening. So I'll just go ahead and close it this way. Now, what you are going to do, this is optional, okay? This is actually optional, but it adds like more beauty to your pants, to be honest. Like it adds more beauty to your pants. Especially the fact that you already have like one inch opening at this part. So just to make it more beautiful and neat, what you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and stop stitch all the way round. So this is where I have my opening at this part. So you go ahead and top stitch the sides all the way down. You top stitch this other side. Basically, you just top stitch it round. So even with this, you can see the shape of your pants. You can see the front block and then you can see the back block. So by the time you close it this way, we are not through yet. I'm still going to show you guys what next you have to do. But even with this, you guys, you can see our pants. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You can see our pants. This is where we have our one inch. So that is why it came off. But basically, you know, we are going to fold it in and top stitch it. So let me just fold this in. You guys, even with... Hey, give this video a thumbs up, please. Look at this. Can you see the pants? Let me zoom it in. Can you see our pants? You guys are going to rock this. Okay, this is our pants. You can see how cute it is. And the fact that you cut out two pieces, it just makes this part to be very neat. And your joining will be neat. And this is what it looks like. I hope you guys are excited. Subscribe if you haven't. And click on the like button. So, let me go ahead now and top. So guys, now we've gone ahead to top stitch our pants and this is what it looks like. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to cut out stripes, okay? And with me here, I have four pieces of stripes, four pieces, one, two, three, four of our stripes. So for the length of my stripe, I have 12 inches for my legs, you can decide that you want yours to be longer. You can reduce yours. It certainly depends on you, how long you want it to be. And for the wideness, I have two and a half inches. Or let's just say three inches for the wideness. And for the length, I have 12 inches. So, and I have four pieces of it. 12 by 3, 12 by 3, 12 by 3, and also 12 by 3. So the next thing we are going to do now is just to go ahead now and fold it this way just to give us like a belt or stripes right so you go ahead now and fold it this way you stitch it and then you turn it to give us like your single stripe so by the time we are done stitching this is what it looks like for the wideness if you want yours to be very tiny you know you can just reduce yours and if you want it to be bigger but actually for panties it's more cute when you have like tiny stripes that you can just tie but you can make yours bigger if you want so i'll go ahead now and turn these four pieces and then i'll show you guys what next you have to do okay so guys we've gone ahead now to turn this so after turning it, this is what it looks like. So you can see the four pieces, one, two, three, four, and this is basically what it looks like. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is, and this is our pants, the next thing we are going to do now is to basically go ahead and attach this to this part. Okay, so you basically go ahead and attach this to this part. You attach this to this, attach this to this, this way. Let me zoom out okay then you also attach this to this part 
and then you attach this to this part so guys you can see what it looks like i'm so excited guys so we basically go ahead now and attach this to this once we are done and then i will show you guys what it looks like please if you haven't watched my video on how to make your bra i'm going to go ahead and link that in the description box please watch the video so that you can have your complete bikini so you have your bra and then you have your pants which is like your complete bikini okay and you can actually sell it to people like you can open up like a bikini brand where what you do is basically just to sell like african prince bikini for beach ways and all of that so now let's go ahead now and attach this and i'll show you guys what our pants looks like so guys now this is let me put it this way so that we can see like the full length of it so guys this is what it looks like by the time you are done attaching your stripes fold it into two and you can see our parties this is so cute guys so if you want yours to be longer you can increase it so you just go ahead now and tie it this way at your side and then you also knot it this way okay just knot it in a sexy way okay we are not in a sexy because your bikini has to be sexy <laughs> So you basically just go ahead and knot it to give it like a sexy shape and this is what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like. Just knot it in a sexy shape and this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. So by the time you add your bra to this, you have like your complete bikini and the video for the bra is in the description box below so go ahead and watch that and this is so cute guys <laughs> so thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video so thank you so much for watching i 